What is the volume in cubic centimeters of a right square pyramid with base edges that are 64 centimeters long and a slant height of 40 centimeters? So let's draw the situation. So I have a pyramid. It certainly helps to enjoy art. I always encourage in a lot of my videos for people to pick up some art to doodle and to draw and to explore because it definitely helps with visualization. So in a square pyramid, uh, the base of the pyramid is a square. So the uh, edges measure 64. So I want to write that that 64. And then it says here that the slant height is 40 centimeters. So the slant height is going to be this length that I have here. And I'm actually going to use a different color for this because all the red is just getting confusing. So I'm going to use blue. The slant height is the height of the... Uh, of, of one of the sides of the triangles of the pyramid here. So this length that's in blue, that's 40. The question here is to find a volume. So to find a volume, we need to determine the height of the pyramid, right? So can you visualize that inside of the pyramid right now, we have another right triangle? Right, and I'm going to highlight this with a highlighter, and let's not use red, let's use blue. We have this right triangle happening on the inside. Okay, so the base is going to measure half of 64. Right, because the uh, that triangle reaches the middle of the pyramid there, so this is going to be 32. So therefore, I can uh, apply the Pythagorean theorem to figure out what the height is. So let's call the height. Let's call that h. Right. So h squared plus 32 squared is equal to 40 squared. I want to isolate h h squared is equal to 40 squared minus 32 squared. Take the square root of both sides. I get this. So now that I have h um, and the volume of any pyramid or cone structure, it all is the same. Its volume is equal to one third area of the base times the height. So in this case, because I'm dealing with a square base, the volume here is one third times 64 squared times height, which is what I just wrote there a moment ago. So let's figure this out in parts. I'm going to figure out what h is because this is going to be a mess to enter the calculator. So let's do that. Square root of 40 squared minus 32 squared is 24. So this is going to equal to 1 third times 64 squared times 24. And 1 third of 24, that's, that's just 8. So it's 64 squared times 8. Right? So let's enter that. 64 squared times 8. 32,768. And what is that? 32,768, that would be option three.